I have only recorded three episodes today. That is surprising. Feels like it's been so much longer because it because it has in a literal sense. But <laughs> hey, I wanted those. Just, look at that bounce animation. It's just a spring. Anyways. Oh, hello. Some kid. Some girl. To the side of his head, apparently. Yeah, so I think I have everything except for... Eh, I wanted to get in there. Well, if you just mash it, you can actually destroy anything running through it. It's interesting. I think I found all the secrets here now. I think. So I think I found everything except for one of the template pieces. I think I found everything. Wasn't there a particular button I found if you held it? Yeah, here we go. Get myself to do whatever dance this chapter has. Could have at least add some white for a highlight on top of that blimp, but oh well. Okay, so that's gonna send me way off to wherever. So let's see if I can at least first go wherever else this blimp gives me passage to. Come on, game. I am waiting. Here. Oh, not there. Wait, did I misre- Okay, I may have misremembered something here. Did I come from here? I feel like, yeah, because this is where I got catapulted to. So was I thinking of going over here? I have been over here. Maybe there wasn't anything else that I missed. Okay. I guess I can go either direction now. Take that. Yeah, the weird thing is I have to hold... I need to hold up and, a. Uh, the side to do this while holding the push button. It's very strange. It's a very obscure button combination to do that dance. Could have got a 5 hit combo if I didn't use a more powerful attack there, but oh well. Is this a thing that's normal to do with trees? Kind of wanted those, but whatever. Okay, so I think we got all the secrets here. I think. But there was one point where I wasn't sure if we actually went through all the available paths or not. We can double check, though. Yep. Sweet. Just that one stage. Alright, Mike, you definitely have a story to tell. The other girl might not have, mostly because she says literally nothing. But... Funnily enough, all the things I mentioned that I remember vaguely from the town, the giant thing, something else will come up soon enough. Um, I don't remember this guy. Okay. 
the one place I was told to go. <laughs> More what happened to his ears. I'll just let you be confused at what humans are, but I'll at least give you the word. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I don't have the best track record in not bringing back dangerous people, so... Anyways. White. So do we have to color it to make it work? Because Wilford didn't need color for it to work. It seems to imply something else than what the game seems to otherwise be implying. Anyways. Hold on. Uh -huh. As silly as it is, I still really like how that clock turned out on the on the town hall or whatever you call this building. It still bugs me that only the hands drop on the top screen and not the the rest that you drew. Strange concept there, but it's, it's a functioning time factory clock. I love it. Mike and two random kids. I'm not gonna bother asking who they are. <laughs> okay, see, the whole what happened to your ears thing is the sort of thing I would expect to be funny. And the first few times it's not, but <laughs> when it's, they push so hard on it that you, he gets asked about it with like five times within two minutes. I admit that's the sheer, they push on it so hard it's actually kind of funny again. There's nothing secret about it. I was just there. There's not. There's nothing even preventing me from going there. But okay. Why can't we just walk there together? Bark still wants a pirate hat. Just wanted to see if Bark had made any progress in life. Dude, it's a. It's just in an open field. I guess it's because it's close next to the secret beach, which is marginally more secret than this, because at least has a smaller entrance. No, what? Already? There's a whole bunch of other stuff in the... Interesting. Or, or drawing a door now, I guess. Or coloring a door. Um... I kind of have an idea. This thing's supposed to be important, so... I guess, on one hand, I should put in an effort? I don't have any, like, notable doors to think of. There's that one... The only similar looking door I can think of is from the opening of the original Kingdom Hearts. I don't know if I'm in the mood to try to look up a reference for that and try to imitate it right now, even though there's not actually that much to it. Um... Ah, I am yawning. Whoa! Uh, really big. Are there always three sizes? I'm always zoomed in, so... Even if there was... I wouldn't necessarily notice it. Very nice. Anyhow, um... There's some reason I feel like if I just think for a second longer, I should think of something that... I don't know, a door from something that I could do something with. But I feel like the answer is no. Um, in which case, I may just kind of... Do I have that many colors to work with that I think work well here? Like, I would like different colors of wood or something like that to work with here, but that doesn't really seem... doable. Um, I guess I could just go with the outside being wooden or something. I honestly, with how... Since this probably leads to the, the sort of place we're seeing in the background on the top screen here, maybe I should make it look a bit more ominous or something. Um, of course, I don't have, like, many shades of black whatever, so... can't make it too dark. 
And I have more pink than I have purple, so I can't really make it that color either. Um, this kind of works though, on the other hand. I just have a, a purple and I have a, a darker one. And maybe I could use this for light. Yeah. Okay, that's an idea. I should probably close this thing more often than I do. But then again, I change color very often. Okay, so here's an idea. Um, that's a lot more gaudy than I feel like it should be, but... much stuff your actual black because it's just going to be too that's not dark enough eh. mm. I think I have a black and, and purple kind of thing but I don't have enough I don't have dark enough grays for that uh. Like all, all the black stuff I see in the background on the top screen, I, I just can't imitate it because I don't have those same dark shades. I can make a gray door. It's a lot less imposing than a, an elaborate black one. And the purple's too bright. Which I know it's the bright palette, but still. Eh, okay, let's, let's just kind of make something happen here. Oh. Maybe you take this one color at a time, one th one part of the door at a time. To start, I can do something similar for these parts. Nope. I wasn't going for like angelic gold looking door, but I don't know, some, some well placed dissonance can have a nice effect from time to time, I guess. I guess that makes more sense. This is gonna be in the village. I feel like it should look at least decent. So that's why, you know, I'm kind of tired out on putting effort into drawing stuff right now. I still want to do something with this. All right. So I already used gold on something. I don't want to do that for whatever else that remains here. Um, I can then make this part. Hmm. Wooden. I think I'll do my usual, use this as the base wood color. I oftentimes want a darker wood color, but... And then... And 
do something kind of like this. I don't like just adding a single pixel border around something and calling that shading, but I don't know if there's that much more I can do right here. that way. I don't know, make it look almost polished or something. Oh, polished or something. Kind of, st kind of a strange idea, but... This is very much improvised. Let me make the so a little bit thicker. To make it look a little bit more like it's kind of curved towards the outside, vaguely. I don't know if it really has that effect or not, but it's a thought. I don't want to do too much more than that right now. Um, and maybe for the inside, just make it like red or something. Very regal. some other color. I feel like red works. I kind of leave that out how it is, honestly. Feels a little like it could have had something more. If I did like, yeah, I'll try to make the the red door look shiny or something. I don't know. Just give something to the otherwise really flat red part here. I'd like to think I've gotten better at this stuff throughout the course of the game. So I, f I feel happier more frequently with the things that I'm drawing. 
happened earlier on in the series, I think. Oh, is that the color I meant to go with? Whoops. No! Too many shades of red available. I wish I could have had that problem with other stuff. Okay. It's something. Kind of a shiny-ish kind of door that just looks kind of regal or something. Odd idea, but I think it's for something. Alright. Where does that leave us? One more episode to record today. That's right next to us, dude. But, okay. So that we'll do next time. And I guess we'll just use the door at a later point. Bye, everyone.